Hi, this is Pat Moore, and we're live here in Las Vegas at AWS reInvent 2022 in the Dell Technologies booth. Daniel, so much action. I mean, people are eating around us, drinking around us, and we are doing what we love to do, which is talk tech. Yeah, you know, it, it put me off a while from eating some snacks I probably didn't need, but it's great to see everybody walking around here, having a good time. The vibe is, well, it's very AWS-ish, which is super high energy. Clearly the world is still excited about technology in the cloud, despite what the, the rumors in the media might be saying. This place is buzzing, Pat. Oh, it is. And we've seen a lot of themes here inside of the Dell Technologies booth. I mean, one is, hey, bring enterprise software to AWS and bringing AWS capabilities on-prem, on Dell infrastructure. And, you know, Column, nice coming in. We're going to talk about data protection. Thank you for coming on the 6.5. Hey, well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I think maybe a good place to start, uh, even though I know you're famous outside here, but not, it's your first time on the 6.5. I don't, well, ask the experts, I thought that was you, right? It's certainly not us. He's so. humble, Pat, okay. he's humble. I'll pay you afterwards. Yeah, no, uh, what do you do for uh, Dell Tech? So my focus is on um, promoting our cloud data protection solution offerings, you know, but really what's, the focus is on is trying to show our customers and prospective customers yeah. that we can really help simplify something that's really become very complex for them, and that's protecting their data because right. it's data's everywhere, right? It's in the cloud, it's on premise, it's on the edge, it's on your mobile device, right? And a lot of times, you know, keeping a, a clear line of sight of that is really hard. Yeah, so, it, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, so you know, you shared a data point, I think it was something like six exabytes of data that Dell already protects in AWS, big number, but your your portfolio is pretty comprehensive as it comes to data protection. Start there, just talk a little bit about kind of the Dell uh, portfolio on the data protection side. What do you offer? And uh, how are you driving between sort of the prem and the cloud in terms of those yeah, offers? Yeah, no, I'm happy to do that. So, I mean, I think it's, it's important to back up and we've been doing this a long time, right? Our, our data protection solutions have been used by our customers literally in, in over 20 years. Right. And, and we have repeat customers, so they keep coming back to us because we solve for problems like scale and, and protecting multiple workloads and, and, and driving that simplicity into their environment, right? So that's, that's a big focus for us. Now you mentioned the six exabytes, so that, that basically represents how much data we're protecting today in AWS. Right. It doesn't include the other public clouds, right? And so really it just shows that a lot of our customers rely on us to protect the most critical data uh, not only in AWS, but frankly, wherever it's located. And you know, so we've, we've evolved from data protection, we've evolved from you know, talking about it in a hybrid cloud context to a hybrid multi-cloud context. And now it's not just data protection, but it's also cyber resiliency. Okay. Right? You know, as, you know, as we were talking before, you know, before we, we started the video, you know, if you're a C-level person and you ask, the person in charge of data protection, whether or not your data is being protected. Right. He's not going to want you to split hairs and say, well, we're protecting data, but our resiliency posture is a little, eh, you know. Well, take a step back though, cyber resiliency. I think a lot of the audience probably knows, but how do you just, how do you define that? Because it kind of sounds like it's the intersection of data protection and cybersecurity. Well, you're, it's a good question. So, you know, when we think about cybersecurity, people often think about things like what you do on the perimeter to make sure the bad guys don't get in. Right. Right. Resiliency is, well, what happens if they get in? How do I get my data back? You know, how do I do it in a way that it's, it meets the service level objectives of the business? Right. Right. And, and what's interesting is that we're even here, hearing members of the analyst community say, you know, organizations are still a little overweight on that perimeter. They really need to take a resiliency posture and basically make the assumption that at some point, the bad actors are going to get inside and what's your plan for getting your data back? So yeah, that, that is absolutely a trend that us analysts have written about, researched about, and every time we talk to Fortune 1000 or quite frankly even SMB, uh, they see they see the threat because uh, for the first time, I mean, we have nation-state budgets, uh, we have ransomware as a service, and and you don't have to be an economics wizard to know that anytime you have anything that's as a service, it's gone mainstream. And, and there's a business there, which just shows the threat that's out there. I think I know the answer to this question, but I want to hear it uh, from your mouth because you're educating so many of your customers. 
why is, uh, first of all, cyber resiliency so critical that Dell provides it on AWS data? You know, somebody might say, hey, AWS will protect that data and provide that cyber resiliency. And Dell, you, you can be resilient on you know, what's on-prem and, and, and on the edge. So why is it so critical? Well, I mean, the, the, the simplest way to answer that is, you know, folks may be familiar with a concept called the shared responsibility model, right? Which is, you know, AD, AWS is going to provide resilient infrastructure, resilient networking, and they do lots of great things from a security standpoint, but the data is your responsibility, right? So basically you're the custodian of your data wherever it is. And you just take that assumption. Don't assume that somebody else is protecting it. And I'm glad you brought that up because you know, we conduct research too, and we still find that quite a lot of organizations still think that once their data is in the cloud, yeah. they can wash their hands of it, right? right? Not the case. And so, yes, we, we make our offering available in AWS. And in fact, our whole data protection portfolio is in the AWS marketplace. And it's important because our customers want to have a consistent experience, however they manage their data, whether right. it's in their data center, whether it's in their remote office locations, whether it's in the public cloud, in AWS, right? And so they want to be able to consume it from the marketplace because oftentimes organizations have, they've made a big investment, right? And they want to draw down on those, draw down on those credits and they can do that. They can draw down on those credits, consuming our solutions in AWS marketplace, get the, basically it's, it's integrated data protection and cyber resiliency, right? So our solutions basically work hand in glove Right, so that if you had a, an event, a ransomware attack, right, and you decided that your digital vault was going to reside in AWS, you can make the, you know, you can work with, and we'll work with you too, right? We, we provide expertise for folks that may have a shortfall in skill sets, because that's another big problem, right? A lot of lack, lacking skill sets out there. We can help you get that data back, and we have the tools that will help orchestrate that recovery. So as, a, as someone that's on the consultant side within Dell, right, you're talking to customers somewhat regularly in, in that process. You know, what are you sort of hearing about this partnership? Are they, what are the kind of main value points? Is it that accessibility? Is it the fact that they're able to use their, their AWS credits? Is it like kind of what's the draw to a, the specific AWS Dell partnership? You want the 30 second commercial, that's what you're asking. Uh, right? This is a chance, Boy, this is a you chance. You just put the golf ball right up on that tee, Colin. Yeah, right. This is a chance, Colin, for yeah. you to do that. But it's also, it. practically speaking, you know, we have a lot of CIOs in the Beltway watching this show, and when they watch it, it's like, all right, I get the AWS value proposition, I get the Dell, but like, yeah. how is it better together? Okay, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a good question. So, look, you know, what, I'll go back to what I said earlier. We've been doing this a long time, right? So we know how to protect data. We factored our solutions to work in AWS, right? So basically it works with Amazon infrastructure as a service, platform as a service. We even protect SaaS workloads, right? And I would say, you know, what's the better together story? Well, obviously with AWS, you have this, you know, enormous public cloud environment with multiple regions, right? So it gives you the ability to leverage their scale. Right, because applications and data are continuously growing. So you need a need a scalable environment. So as your data grows, you can scale right along with it. Uh, our solutions are designed to leverage that scale, right? And so we have a partnership with, with, with Amazon. We work with them very closely to bring our PowerProtect cyber recovery offering to the AWS uh, in marketplace, right? So there was co-engineering that was taking place there, right? That That's using uh, their specific resources. So in this instance, object storage resources, right? So we can give customers the flexibility to use Amazon any way they want, you know, but at the same time, um, they can use our solutions in any context, hybrid cloud, you know, public cloud only. Um, so I would say that's it. It's, it, it's, the, it's the scale, the performance, the flexibility uh, that both organizations bring to the table. And, and I would say the collective expertise in engineering. I love in this new world order of cloud where you have enterprise capabilities and software that are being run in the public cloud. Uh, we also talked to uh, another one of your colleagues talking about EKS Anywhere, which is essentially a control plane for containers that is being run on Dell infrastructure. And I really believe that first of all, it's what customers want. It's also a more, much more mature way to look in the cloud. So Colin, thank you so much for coming on uh, the show here with 6.5.
uh, we really appreciate that. It was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. First time, but not I the know. last, right? Hopefully not the last. Good. Very good guys. So, thank thanks, you. Colin. We really enjoyed it. Thank you. Everyone out there, hit that subscribe button and check out those other sessions that we did here at AWS reInvent in the Dell Technology booth. We enjoyed all of them. Lots of great solutions coming out here. Great event, reInvent. Hit those others, but hit that subscribe button. Join us for future episodes. We'll see you here all week at AWS reInvent. But for Pat, for myself, bye-bye now.